Okay, with this question, we're going to be given just a little bit of information about uh, this company's costs, uh, so productivity and costs, and we're going to calculate marginal cost, average total cost, average variable cost, average fixed cost, um, yeah, all of those things. So uh, this question is borrowed from Proven Wells Microeconomics Chapter 12, Chapter 12 being the behind the supply curve inputs and costs question 10. Uh, the question reads, Mark and Jeff operate, operate a small company that produces souvenir footballs. The fixed cost is $2,000 per month, uh, and then they can hire workers for $1,000 per worker per month. Their monthly productivity function for footballs is given in the this table below. So here, um, this is uh, the productivity table. So if they have zero workers employed, then they produce zero footballs. If they have one worker employed, then they produce zero footballs. If they employ two workers, they can produce 800 footballs. Continuing up to if they have uh, five workers working in this factory store, then they can produce 500 balls. So given just this bit of information about productivity and uh, this info about costs, we're going to go by uh, and calculate uh, the average cost. So first off, let's think about average variable cost. So average variable cost is equal to the um, variable cost divided by quantity. So going back to this, um, we're told that this firm hires workers for $1,000 per month. So starting with zero workers, um, because and yeah, producing zero units, zero footballs, the average variable cost is going to be just not a number. Um, as this from firm as this firm employs one worker, uh, so what's the variable cost? The variable cost is that one worker times the thousand dollars per month, so a thousand dollars here, divided by the quantity uh, produced, so 300. So the average variable cost for 300 uh, footballs produced is going to be three dollars and 33 cents. Turning to um, two units of labor, the variable cost is two thousand dollars because it's two workers and each worker has a cost of a thousand dollars so our variable cost at this level of production is two thousand dollars divided by this eight hundred dollars which is the quantity produced so two thousand dollars divided by eight hundred gives us an average variable cost of two dollars and fifty cents so you can see we're just taking the variable cost for this level of production divided by the quantity uh, produced that you know, the number of goods produced to get the average variable cost. So, for example, with uh, five units of labor, that's going to be $5,000 of variable cost divided by the units of production for that. It's 1500 gives an average variable cost of $3.33. And notice that the average variable cost, it goes 333 uh, 250 250 286 350 So you can kind of see a U-shaped you know, if you were to graph this, you could see a new shape to it. And I'll show you the graph in a second as we finish the rest of the questions. Uh, we're also asked to find average fixed costs. So average fixed cost is equal to the fixed cost divided by the quantity. So turning back to our table here, going back to our table here, um, so remember average fixed cost is just the fixed cost divided by quantity. So what's the fixed cost? Well, we're told the fixed cost is $2,000 per month. So total fixed cost is $2,000. Um, so the average fixed cost given 300 footballs produced is the $2,000 fixed cost divided by the 300 units produced, so $6.67. Uh, the average fixed cost given 800 footballs produced is that 2,000 divided by 800, so $2.50. You keep going down this, the average fixed cost for 1,500 footballs produced is the fixed cost of $2,000 divided by the 1,500 footballs produced, giving an average fixed cost of 133. So while average variable cost typically has a, a kind of a U shape to it, note that average fixed cost has this constant declining uh, shape to it. So think about a car factory. If you build this billion dollar car factory and you produce a single good, so you have like a very low quantity produced, 
then the average fixed cost is going to be huge. So this car factory that cost a billion dollars, if it only produces one car, then the average fixed cost for that level of production is a billion dollars. Now, if this factory produces two cars, then the average fixed cost is that billion divided by two. So $500 billion is the average fixed cost. And then if this if this car factory produces you know a million cars, uh, you can see how average fixed cost is just constantly decreasing. So moving on to average total cost. Um, before we can find average total cost, we need to actually calculate what total cost is. So total cost is equal to the variable cost of that level of production plus the fixed cost. So fixed cost at every level of production uh, is that $2,000. You know, fixed cost is a cost that stays constant no matter how much you produce. And we're told that it's the $2,000 per month. Uh, but what about the variable cost? Well, the variable cost varies with each worker, with the number of workers we hire. So given zero workers and you know zero footballs produced, the total cost is just that fixed cost, that $2,000. Now, if we hire one worker to produce 300 units of footballs, um, so the total cost here is the fixed cost, that 2000 plus um, the variable cost, 1000 because only one worker is hired, making a total cost of $3,000. Uh, for this next level, we have a fixed cost of 2000 plus a variable cost of these two workers times how much money we have to spend on them. So that's the variable cost of $2,000. So 2000 fixed cost plus 2000 variable cost equals this 4000 total cost. At a level up here uh, of five workers producing 1500 footballs, um, we have that $2,000 fixed cost plus Five workers times $1,000 each is $5,000 variable cost. So the total cost is $2,000 plus $5,000 variable cost equals $7,000 total cost. So now we can calculate, since we have um, total cost per unit of production, we can now calculate average total cost. And average total cost is just total cost divided by the quantity produced. So average total cost uh, at the first level here, because there's zero produced, and any number divided by zero is just not a number. Going to the next level, um, a total cost of 3,000 divided by 300 units produced gives an average total cost of 10 bucks per unit. So each of these footballs here has an average cost of $10 each. And if this factory were to, to up its production to 800 units of footballs, then you have the uh, the average total cost is the total cost of 4,000 divided by 800 footballs. So 4,000 divided by 800 is equal to $5. So now at this level of production, each football costs the firm to produce on average just five bucks. Uh, at this at this level of production, where the factory produces 1,200 footballs, the average total cost is 5,000 divided by 1,200 which is equal to $4.17. And then going down to the highest level of production that we, we consider here, 1,500 footballs produced. In order to produce that many footballs, it costs this firm $7,000. So the average total cost is the 7,000 divided by the number of footballs produced gives an average total cost of $4.67. Um, so, so one thing to note here at how average total costs changes as we increase the quantity the number of footballs produced. So early on footballs cost a fair amount of money. Uh, you know at low levels production costs ten dollars. If this factory were to increase its production up to eight hundred, you know, it's getting a lot of savings. Now the average football is cut in half. Uh, the football continue the average cost of each football continues to decrease until about this level, twelve hundred footballs and then as it continues to increase uh, as it continues to increase the number of footballs produces it produces um, the average total cost continues to increase so then the next question is well what's the marginal cost um, the marginal cost the equation is going to be uh, this equation right here marginal cost is the change in total cost divided by the change in quantity produced
So let's go through each one of these and find the marginal cost. Again, the marginal cost is the change in total cost divided by the change in quantity produced. So for this level of production, you know, 300 footballs produced, the change in total cost is the $3,000 total cost at this level minus the $2,000 in total cost producing zero divided by the 300 uh, footballs produced at this level minus the zero produced at the other level. So uh, simplifying this at 1,000 divided by 300, or 10 divided by 3, or $3.33 marginal cost. Um, now at the next level of production, so going from 300 footballs to 800 footballs, that's what this marginal cost is. So going from this level of production to this level of production. Okay, so first off, what's the change in total cost? The change in total cost is 4,000 minus 3,000 because that's our change in total cost going from this level of production to the next. Divided by the change in production, so that's 800 minus 300, so we've increased production by 500 footballs. So where total cost has increased 1,000, uh, the quantity of footballs produced has increased 500, so 1,000 divided by 500 is a marginal cost of $2. And then the next level of production, uh, the next marginal cost is just this calculation giving a marginal cost of two dollars fifty cents going from twelve hundred footballs produced to fourteen hundred footballs produced has a marginal cost of five bucks give this calculation and then the marginal cost for the next level the next change in production is ten dollars so now what we're going to do is draw the average variable cost curve average total cost curve and marginal cost curves in the diagram and I've done that just below here so here you have cost for football. So this is a per football cost along the vertical axis. Along the horizontal axis, you have quantities of footballs. So at a very low production, uh, I think starting off with 300 units, um, we had a marginal cost, um, an average variable cost of about $3.33, where the average total cost was $10. So looking at average total cost curve, you notice that it's a U-shaped curve. Uh, which is a very typical shape for most industries. Um, the decreasing portion here in average total cost kind of tells you that any firm or, or you know a restaurant kitchen or a factory or anything like that, they have usually have some scope for scalability for scaling. So as they increase scale, you know as they increase pre increase their production, they have ways of decreasing the average cost. So, you know, those first early footballs, after all of that research and building a factory and all that stuff, those first early footballs have a high average cost. But if they can get production high enough, they could get the average price for each football down pretty low. Um, and then the other key curve to look at here is marginal cost. Note that the dots in marginal cost don't perfectly line up with the average variable cost and average total cost curve because marginal cost is like it's kind of going from this point, you know, zero units production to 300. So we put the dot kind of in the middle at about 150. Um, marginal cost over here is between 300 and 800. So we kind of put the dot in between because it's the marginal cost of increasing production from 300 to 800. So that's why these marginal cost dots are kind of out of sync, out of line with the average total cost curve and average variable cost curve. Um, so the other thing to note about marginal cost is that it runs into and intersects the average total cost curve right here. And this is exactly where marginal cost intersects average total cost is the low point of the average total cost curve. So where marginal cost equals average total cost, that's going to be the lowest average total cost. That's going to be the minimum of the average total cost. You know, the reason why is pretty obvious. So marginal cost is how much additional cost is add, added on average. So whenever marginal cost is below average total cost, you know, for all these units, that means the marginal cost is a little bit less than the average cost. So as you add on this marginal cost, you know, down here, this level of like $2, um, that's telling you that where before the average was $10, we're adding on a little bit extra cost that's only $2, so that's going to bring the average down. And where at this section over here, where marginal cost is above average total cost, it's saying for each additional football produced over here, we're adding on this little bit of cost that's above the existing average. So that's going to pull up the average total cost. Um, so yeah, for this whole section here, when marginal cost is below average total cost, 
you have an average total cost that's decreasing. And then for this entire section over here, the entire section where marginal cost is above average total cost, you're going to see average total cost increasing. So this is kind of a building block question. Um, you use this stuff that we learned from here in later areas to, to make interesting statements about the supply curve and about the firm. But in order to get to that point, you have to have done this kind of building block section where we learn about cost of the firm. Um, so hopefully this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, thanks and have a good day. Bye.